you made it welcome back yeah vea beautiful soul solid soul here and i'm gonna be honest for a second here i've never watched nor read berserk yes quite frightening news i know but i promise you everything's gonna be okay because i've made my warmonger in for honor look like guts why you ask why not i reply but solid soul won't that make me look like an edgelord what a good looking question, Timmy. And the answer to that is, who freaking cares? I look like freaking guts. I don't care. <laughs> I freaking look amazing. One of the most iconic characters in history. If you've seen this dark figure coming at you to point A, you'd best run the other direction. Especially if she adds corruption to her blade. I mean, come on, that thing is freaking ridiculous. I swear to the goddess though, I've won all of my games with Gutsmonger when I changed my fit G and you will too. Your experience may differ. That's how confident I am in this endeavor. Let me know in the comments if your games have improved significantly when you start cosplaying as Guts because we already know how powerful the determination of this guy is. Losing isn't something that he does. At least, not since that day. I haven't read the manga yet, but I've seen long summary videos on YouTube. God bless them for making them. They're going over pretty much most of the manga, and I think I've been spoiled by quite a bit already. But it doesn't mean I don't actually want to read it myself, because that is an entirely different experience. I hope to get to it soon, because I'd like to put some respect on Kentaro Mura, as I'm sure he's helped many of you get through your days, and especially during the hardest moments of your life. God rest his soul. There are a crap load of pages that I'll need to read, but thankfully it's mostly just drawings. Drawings can hurt you, but you know what can? For Honor. If you think a Pope who enjoys torture is sadistic, well try playing For Honor solo queue, you scrub, and then get back to me while you beg for me to carry you in your games. Tuh! Does that make your experience better? Because we all know it doesn't. For Honor giveth and For Honor taketh. Now I've fought quite a few warmongers since the release, and it's been about three years or so, almost four. And I know, guys, it's freaking four years of front. That's crazy, right? Since the release of Warmonger. Such a crazy time and a long game that we've been supporting for pretty much our entire life. I mean, it's not my entire life, but, you know, it feels like that. You know, it feels like that. And I definitely have been molding and having depression because of this. But the crazy thing is that I've never seen this tech. I don't think it's tech. It's just something that's used in your kit, but most people don't know about it, or I haven't seen it and it hasn't been used on me. But and in most cases, it might just be that Warmongers just want to be able to get confirm damage that is hyper armor attack because there's always somebody ready to backshot you. I found out about this a while ago and it's given me quite some success in my games to clutch shit out. Even after many duels and dominion games, I haven't seen anyone really perform this on me. Maybe I was just fortunate enough to avoid any scenario that could have led up to this crazy move, but I honestly can't believe it. Every For Honor player is an unlucky player because we've been playing this game for freaking years. I can probably scream at God and ask, why do bad things happen to good people as I abuse my dodge cancels and lick my lips while I press the ultra rigor button? <laughs> Why haven't you done anything about that, Ubisoft? You clowns. All the dramatics aside though, I I've said it in a previous video, but never had a dedicated one to it. Did you know that with Warmonger's fully charged bash, you don't need to do the praying claw slash? And that's her heavy attack finisher that does only a measly 20 damage. Pathetic. Tuh. Well, of course, her Praying Claw bash is 8 damage for bleed and then 20 damage for her heavy attack, which is just raw. So it's 28 damage total. Pretty freaking good if you ask me. Even more so than Warden's, which is the 27 damage. And then of course we have Highlanders who does 30 damage, but he's going to get nerfed soon with his testing grounds and it'll only do 26. But if you happen to get a wall splat with your charged bash, you can easily land a side heavy for 24 damage or a top heavy for 27, given that there's a little bit of space between the wall and your opponent. Even Virgin Warden mains can't reach this level of superiority. That's right, I said it. They have to rely on their Vortex to get a 27 damage heavy, while us Giga Chad Warmonger mains inflict bleed with our pin slap, utilizing that wall splat and landing a satisfying heavy, going up to 32 damage with the side heavy, whilst the top one will do 35 damage total. For such a big brain read, I think that's satisfactory. I'm honestly really surprised that nobody has really done this to me yet. And, I, and I've been hit by loads and loads of warmongers. Charged bashes, that is. So now that this information is out there, prepare for some war monster supremacy. Unless you are fighting me, and under the rules of For Honor Section 8 Paragraph 
or line two, you can't beat a YouTuber because they always post their wins. It's 10% skill and 90% editing. Ain't that the truth. An unwinnable game, SMH my head. But seriously, I hope to see more of you try to get these nasty wall splats because if you're always doing the same multiple thing, what's the fun of that? Which reminds me in Tekken 8, there are hundreds of different combos for each character. You don't need to stick to the same boring routine and you can showcase different combos to show off your skill. For Honor really only has a few ways to dish out parry punishes and maybe one day we can get more repost attacks to give heroes a little bit more personality. Yeah, For Honor is simple and we enjoy that, but I like a little bit of complexity when it comes to parry punishes. Like old lawbringer perhaps i hope you enjoy the rest of these videos as the games i had were insanely fun if you learned anything or already knew this let me know and hope you all make the guts monger set because i i love it every time i play the rest of the cast i always come back to this fine ass character because its fashion keeps me invested in her you can't say the same thing for the vikings except for shaman but for warmonger she's she always keeps me wanting for more i know there's some people that don't like her move set it's very similar to warden and she's basically a copy paste or the rework that warden should have gotten but you know that's ubisoft and we've got to make do with what we have right now if you like what i do here leave me a thumbs up and i'll be seeing you all in the battlefield very soon now where are you going Max punish, baby. Up light. So fully charged. Ah, crap. Bet he can fuck me over with that, huh? Oh, do you know? That does not work on the war mommers. Give myself a little bit of HP here. Let that one fly. That's gonna hurt. Wow, huge play. So I don't think you can parry that in time. Nice, and finish off the light attack. Perfection. We love the woolen out here. We love the woolen when they're on. They're on your team, right? <laughs> Oh man. The, the problem with Warmonger is that after a, like a light parry or like an unblockable heavy attack like this, she doesn't have chain pressure. Her chain pressure is just chip damage. And that's not like super strong. No? She needs like something else. Like some. A lot more things. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! That was wild. And now he's now we're resorting to some extreme amount of lag. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. I can get a light into top heavy here. Are you serial? It's an external. <laughs> Dude, that is redonkulous, man. How was that? How was that even possible? <laughs> I was so confused. Dude, that was one of the moments of all time in For Honor. Holy moly. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that bug one more time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is way too funny, man. Oh, that was a great trade. Great trade. By yours truly. I'm gonna let this one fly. Woo! Heesh! Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. That's some fly looking guts warmonger, man. She's looking good as heck. I'll tell you what. Really good. And I really love the touch of the uh, feathers on this outfit. I don't really care much about the cape. The cape looks okay. Some tags in there. I want to position myself so I can take that trade. Oh, I wanted to get that hit in, but I'm gonna get max punish here. Oh, another max punish. Oh. 
Ow. Play that one. Thank you. Alright, I go retreat. See you guys later. Have a good night. Dude, the Omen Gunner, if you don't parry those, if you don't react to those, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. Holy crap. Get him, boys. Make sure you close the close the gate. Close the gate though, man. Close the gate. That should be your first priority. I'm not gonna let that f oh shit. I'm off and finish him right there. I'm gonna do the bridge. <laughs> I think he just I think he just pulled the bridge on his own teammate. <laughs> oh my god, that was so ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe that. Medjai brain Medjai braining dude. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Let's see if we get a cheesy killer. There you go. Nice parry. I'll let that one fly too. Any ledgers? Nice, Sue. Well played. Check my hand, Warden. Mm, I might have wasted that actually. There we go. Dodge roll. Nope, I dodge rolled from him. Ooh, that's mine. That's my kill. Protect me from the minions! Oh, okay. Dude, it's so nice to have a Jane Doe on your team because they can just do whatever the hell they want. And it's pretty much just profit. It's pretty much profit. Easy axe stone blockables. Iframes for days. It's just, they can do it. They bend the rules of reality. can take all these trades. I'll take all of them, I say. Thank you, my good man. You guys are coming in clutch. So yeah, the biggest thing to do with Walmart is to use that as much as you can. Otherwise, um, you're not going to be able to reposition around the fight as easily. It's very important to do so. If you don't do that, then um, you can get out positioned really easily. And uh, there's a bunch of people that has release. Actually, really high ping. Yeah. Oh my god. That was gross. Well played, sir. A light attack. Ah, uh, you let that fly. Risky. Very risky. I'm gonna let this fly too. Woo! You are dead, sir. Uh, can I get a wall punish here? I might be able to get him off the point. A little bit of HP. Yeah, there we go. Uh, another one. I'll let him fly. Not yet, I said. I'll let this one fly. I shouldn't have done that. Woo! Disgusting! Help me out, bro! Oh, I should do the wrong execution. What? Come on, guys! Okay, he's done. <laughs> he's dead, right? He's dead. <laughs> I know. Can you just, can you just die already, BP, <laughs> please? Stop! Why are you always putting the traps near us, bro? Come on!
Can that be a wall? Uh, I want to get a wall. Point, don't light me, please. Uh, I want to get a wall splat, man. You're just going to your bud. You're going to your bud, dude. <laughs> the guy who's trying to save you. Maybe I can get a wall splat on this guy here. I can. Nice. That is disgusting. Take that trade, I'll take that trade. Wow! Oh, dude, I love that. It's so satisfying. So satisfying. It does so much damage. You see that? So much damage. <laughs> you stop attacking me, dude. Stop right there, you criminal scum. I tried to make her look as close as possible. All black. And the most important part for me is going to be the tar material. Tar material makes it pop out a lot more so than black. You can run black, but I don't think it really looks like guts. Uh, it does look great though, don't get me wrong. Any material on Warmonger looks fantastic, but the tar set really gives you that edgy vibe that, you know, Berserk has. And guts is definitely one of those people that you want to respect as much as possible. Unfortunately, I can't get like a huge ass Grazer like Highlander, but Warmonger swords are pretty large already. And I could have gone for like a straight sword, but I think the curvy uh, swords that she has has a little bit more finesse to it instead of just using a normal basic dull uh, straight sword because I don't have like amazing selections when it comes to uh, her battle passes. Let's just quickly go over what things I am using and this is going to be the cave crawler. This is totally worth all your money and this does come from the Solaris mythic outfit so it's a mythic outfit but I think it's totally worth it. Um, usually it'd be, you'd see wardens run this on their head, but, uh, for Warmonger, I think it looks really clean on her shoulders. And you guys know me, I'm not a fan of the shoulder ornaments, but, uh, for this one, it looks great for, uh, it looks fantastic for Warmonger, honestly. Uh, chest is always, it's, I tried doing, I, I tried doing some engravings of sorts, because if you've seen Guts's armor set it's it's pretty spiky you know it's really it's really horny a lot of it indentations and very straight engravings i'm not sure what the word is to describe it but i can't find anything that matches the outfit so that it would stand out because if i add like uh, I, I was thinking about adding like this rose here but if you look at it it'll look like a rose um and i don't want to distract that from the entire black outfit um i don't think it's that big of a deal but if you wanted to run that you could I'm deciding on whether or not to do it, and I don't really want to do the eye here because it could just be like the eclipse of sorts, but Guts' armor doesn't really have that, so it'd be cool if we could add like a little red dot right here too, that'd be kind of sick. Uh, this one right here, the ghoulish mark, this one is like a really cool engraving, so I, I might honestly buy this, and you can't really tell what this is, and it looks like a huge amount of engravings that doesn't really look like anything in conjunction with your entire armor set because everything's like super shiny and you can't really tell. Uh, she also has really nice engraving sets right here on the left side and the right side of her armor pieces in the front um, and I don't really want to distract um, too much from that because it is really pretty but with the flashiness of her uh, chest piece right here, I think it just I think it just makes it stand out like an incredible amount. Uh, but yeah, that's if you want to make something engravings on your chest, feel free to do so. Uh, but I, I personally wouldn't. And I think you can also make the um, the berserk symbol as well. But I don't think I need to do that because I, I don't really want to add like an emblem thing, Majigger. Uh, right shoulder all clean, left shoulder clean as well. Standards also clean with no engravings. I don't think you really need engravings on here. Uh, like I said, you could just do like this one. This pastely one looks pretty nice if I say so myself. And honestly, I think I'm just going to run the Paisley set. I was thinking about just going clean because it's really shiny and uh, it draws attention. But the engravings make it look like there's more curvature in the armor set. Even though there's already a bunch of layers right here, like one, two, three, four layers. I think this adds a little bit more of a, you know, more of a enhanced look in my opinion. And the great thing about this is that it covers pretty much the entire plate. Usually, these ones, uh, the square ones, they have like a square outline, and, and I hate that about For Honor. You can't, you know, resize it to a different degree, and I wish we could do that. We could rotate it, you know, do a little flipper rooney here and there, but uh, For Honor customization is pretty limited in that regard. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now, and I think that looks pretty clean. Um, and then the back is also going to be, just do any paint pattern you want. Uh, the most important thing is that you will have the black Apollyon color set. Uh, otherwise, you might be stuck 
trying to find uh you could probably use a all red uh, you could probably use bleeding bleeding would probably work with a lot of other things now we're going over to the helmet the Ramnusia is going to be the best one because she has the winged helmet as you can see here uh she has a lot of cool looking helmets uh, in my opinion but the biggest problem about some of these other ones like this one looks great but it doesn't have the wing set and this one uh this one is this one's terrible because it has the uh, green corroded look but i was thinking about going for this one right here the melano but uh, it doesn't really look like a guts outfit because guts doesn't have like these big ass horns like this looks more of like a griffith set in my honest opinion um, so you definitely don't want to go with this. You could do it just to look cool, but I don't think you look as much as uh, Guts if you do that way. Uh, same thing for this one. It's about the same thing. Uh, horns, but it's a lot cleaner, so you don't really need that. And I've gone through pretty much every other set, and it doesn't look like there's one that really matches that vibe besides this one. Because you look like a freaking badass knight here with the winged ears. The torso piece that I wound up choosing is the Sabak Tess chest, and this one... It, it was a little bit hard to choose between uh, the Melano chest piece and the Protudian chest piece, but uh, I, I think the best one is going to be the Sabak chest because the cape is clean. Berserk's cape is pretty clean. It's pretty much just all black. I, I wish there was more tearing on the capes. So there is another cape that has really... Uh, it's, it's like a, a war-torn cape. Now, where is it? Let me just go ahead and find it. I think it's right up here, actually. It's, just, it's, it's actually this one. So this one, I love this cape. I wish I could use this cape, uh, cape in conjunction with the uh, Sabak test, but I can't. The reason why I chose this one is because, I mean, look how clean this entire set is. And you can change the entire uh, color palette or the material palette. And it, it's just the best one, in my opinion. I think, personally, I could go without these uh, this this color or this uh, design pattern here. It could just be, like, blank. And just you could just do black or whatever, but uh, we're kind of stuck with what we got, and I'm I'm happy about it overall. And then of course we have the feathers up here. This uh, this feather is perfect for the cape. I think it makes you look incredibly majestic. And uh, when you look at this warmonger, you're gonna run away. You're gonna go the opposite direction. It looks, she looks so clean and scary and edgy. The one that I chose definitely takes the cake on showing you know pure darkness and a pure hatred for griffith you know <laughs> pure hatred uh, you could also go you could also choose this one this one's also really great uh don't get me wrong i love this set too especially because of all these uh the scale armor right here uh, the draconian stuff because it matches the arms as well but the problem is that it doesn't have a cape and we know guts has a cape with his big ass great sword so if you want to run with, if you want to run this uh feel free to but uh, this one right here, I think it takes the cake. It's black, and it looks really clean. The arm, we're going to use the Omodamos arms. And uh, like I said, it was between the Omodas alternate or the Asbestos. And I think this one is, this one is a pretty close second, in my opinion. Um, but this one is just better because the arm pieces are bigger, and it... It's more it's more protruding and it shows her her strength more in my opinion. It makes it more dominating and it's the one that also makes it uh, look really black since the tar makes the arms pop off like an incredible amount. If you look at her other sets, a lot of them have um, a little touch of gold and a little touch of a corroded green and I don't really want that for my armor or leather. Even this one here looks amazing, but the thing is it has a bunch of silver tint here and I don't really want that. I want to go like more pure darkness, you know, pure darkness is is definitely the right play here in my opinion. And then for the sword, you're definitely gonna run the Waverndale Wraith Blade. This looks so good. Uh, this is gonna be a a battle pass premium weapon, so you're gonna have to shell out $9, but I think it's totally worth it. There's a lot of good Waverndale weapons. If you wanna spend like nine bucks to get a really cool looking sword, and this is also the Waverndale hilt, which looks so sick. Look at the eye right there. That looks awesome, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it looks sick. Um, the guard, I might change this, to be honest, uh, to something like super clean, but uh, I'll, I'll think about it later. But for now, I'm just going to keep this set because it, it does look really good. I, I do want to go for something a little bit clean maybe later on. But the thing about Warmonger is that a lot, of her, <laughs> a lot of her guards, they're not clean. They're all really fancy. They're all really fancy, and uh, uh, it's something that always, always looks amazing. Um, and this is the only, this is, this right here is the only guard that looks normal. Honestly, I might even, I might just change it, actually. I might just change it to this. Yeah, let's change it. 
We'll change it to the uh, Efito guard and make it look super duper clean. Look at that, it's very clean now. Um, I'm changing things on the fly here as long as uh, it looks amazing. So sometimes it's okay to change your mind as long as things look better. As long as you, you feel that it looks better. I think the most, that's the most important thing. While you're getting freaking 1v4 against the entire team, you're going to look amazing while you die. Okay, the, People are going to realize that you look amazing. You're like, damn, this warmonger looks so good. I'm going to I'm gonna go easy on her. I'm going to go easy on her. I'm, I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use Oathbreaker and not even touch her. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. All right, so that's the entire set. And the last thing is definitely going to be the glowing eyes. You just have to get this to finish the set. If you don't, well, how can you tell that it's Berserk, you know? You, I mean, you can't even tell that it's Guts. I also bought it for the executions, and you can definitely tell that looks like Guts, who is pissed off, man. He is pissed off at all the demons and all the freaking humans, too, while I'm at it. Like, holy crap. Um, I, I think every time I get killed by a warmonger like this, I hope to see more warmongers running this Zerk uh, Guts set. It'll be freaking awesome. So, uh, you don't have to do anything with the free roam combat. I just chose Vorker's Dark Oath because it looks really, uh, it looks really dark right there. It's just dark. It looks like you're in the Eclipse, and uh, that's all I really care about. And that's how you build the Guts set for Warmonger, and I think it looks so good. Oh my gosh, I, I, I had so much trouble trying to get rid of one set for my warmongers because she looks so good all the damn time. Uh, but unfortunately, Ubisoft has only given us so many freaking customization slots. So we need to petition for more, in my opinion. We need to, we got to petition for like way, way more. Okay, let's 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 get started, guys. Okay, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed some uh, War Monster or Gutsmonger gameplay here, and a lot of fun stuff to talk about. And uh, I had a lot of fun playing her, and I hope you guys knew about the fully charged bash into a heavy it's a really cool mix up and i have a lot of fun doing it with her since she has a pretty plain kit overall like it's a little bit enhanced version of a uh, warden without the vortex and i do like that aspect about her uh, but of course warden's gonna get a rework soon so that'll be really neat to try out and then war monster warmonger is gonna be you know pretty top tier still with her fashion and that's pretty much the only reason you kind of want to play her you know she's like one of the most badass knights in the entire game so hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for the support if you enjoy what i do here go ahead and just leave a like thumbs up or whatever you call it and i'll see you guys in the next video and the streams as well because i am streaming on youtube and twitch so bye bye see you later